morning everybody it is got some cup champs day so i'm really excited um martha is coming with us we're gonna meet hannah um because she's already she's competing as well so you can probably watch her vlog soon um but yeah it's Cotswolds Cup Champs Day. Didn't ever expect to get here, so was honestly in two minds about coming, to be honest, because of how wet it's been lately, but it's been okay for the last few days. So yeah, let's do this. So I really wasn't sure if I was gonna do the Cotswolds Cup Champs. Horse events had just, I got so soaked. I was just like, I'm fed up. Like I'm done with eventing this year, I'm done. And I nearly pulled out because I just wasn't sure what the ground was gonna be like. It was still raining, but Simon's sister did an amazing job and it was such good ground. So I decided on a Saturday morning to try out a theory and I feel like I'm overwhelming says coming into a fence and hey presto, I'm the problem. So this was just to replicate the book on the cross country. Clap you up. Make you look all pretty. Ready for eventing? Yeah? You good girl. Good morning! I'm actually a bit brighter now. I mean my hair and my personality. This morning Hannah was late because Sarah was being turd. So I did my makeup in the car, but I would not have been vlog ready at that point. I was like, what? But we're excited. Yeah, but I just couldn't wake up. To watch what? Hopefully it stays like this. Yeah, it would be so nice. It's all dry. Um, what's the magpie? Did you sleep the magpie? Did you sleep the Callum does. I it just go just like this. Like, 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 we'll be driving and you just got out and I'm like, what? I was like, oh, magpie. I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand it. I don't really do anything that's like superstitious, really. I don't stand on gaps. Very superstitious. Give up. Very superstitious. Don't be superstitious. Oh, that's, that's suspicious, not superstitious. Oh, yeah, I'm not enjoying not having a tripod. It's hurting my hand. So, oh, crap. see you when we get there. Bye. Bye. We're on the way to Simon says the park for the Cotswolds Cup. Um, the CCC, the Cotswolds Cup. The CCC, champs. yeah. The Cotswolds Cup champs. Ah! No entry. Pretty. No entry for Wizzy, sorry. No entry for me. It's not allowed in. Do you want me to film this bit? Um, when we get closer to the okay. actual signs. We don't say I hurt She's so bossy, she's bossing me around. That'll be me. It's fun, it's exciting. Oh no, oh, oh no. God, it's all right, it's not like I need a wee or anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Simon Test is lovely. Wow, the ground. Oh my god, look at the castle thing. Castle? Right there. That's an old church, mate. That was an old church, not a castle. It's <laughs> decent ball. <laughs> <laughs> like National Trust visits as well. Oh god, wow. Okay, so we're half ready. But what's missing? She's forgot the girl. So she's gone to the shop, which is absolutely miles up there. Um, I've brushed her tail. I've put a bridle on. We've had a bit of grass, haven't you? I'm just wondering if I should walk her. She's literally on dressage in like half an hour. So she's only got 15 minutes to work in, but she's come back with a expensive girth. But she's away now. Yep, once again, misorganised, forgot something. So I forgot my girl. Luckily, at these shows, they have little tack shops. Thank God. But it was touch and go whether I was going to be able to get the right size and actually it was really good girth and it was probably better than I've ever had before. So, you know, silver linings and all. I mean, it is brown, so it's not the same colour, but oh well. Uh, I did start trotting around and I noticed it says was a little bit reluctant to go forward and then... As I started trotting, I could hear a bit of clanking and I was like, oh, her blooming shoe is loose. So that was another issue I had to solve. I turned it off twice. <laughs> <laughs> Martha can't use a camera. Martha I can only use this one. I don't know how to do it, this little stupid thing. <laughs> but honey, you've just done show jumping, haven't you? I have, I just done show jumping. Yeah. You have to check out her vlog for the yeah. informa information. 
And now then... I'm ready. I've got my up from times. I've got minute markers. <laughs> nice tap. <laughs> I'm going to go. Although it means that my shirt's going to have to be rolled up. And it's a bit chilly. Oh, yeah. You, you need to put it like in between your glove and your top. Yeah, but then I have. A, I'm not going to fit it and be able to have my watch there. Oh. <laughs> not you need work. more arm. I need more arm. So yeah, at this point, I just didn't have time to see the farrier. I had like 10 minutes to warm up at this point. So I was just going to have to go into the dressage with a clanky shoe, which wasn't ideal because obviously I, Sarah's foot balance is already on the rocks and she's getting used to her new balance. And then now she's got a loose shoe. So yeah, it was never going to go great. It also didn't help that I was in my jump saddle and not my dressage saddle because my dressage saddle doesn't fit Sarah at the moment. Honestly, it's just never ending with this horse at the moment. Um, but yeah, she warmed up really sweetly. So I was quite pleased with that. I'm cold now. Hamma's like, you're not dressed for summer. Um, so she's just going, well, she's just gone in and she's waiting for the bell. I'll try and get better at filming. She hasn't got her little tripod thing, so it's very fiddly. Okay, so on to the dressage, and this was our first ever dressage in a long arena. So I was like, I really hope I can remember where I'm going, because you know what I'm like for the dressage test. So says was, like, since having her back feet altered, she is very, very downhill, and I think you can see this in this test. However, I thought she did a really nice test, bless her, considering how hard it is, and this was our first long test. It had lots of cantering, lots of transitions, and I was just like, oh my god, this is going to be a nightmare. But she entered in trot, lovely, and she's just see, she's fiddling with her head a little bit and wants to go low. And I was just like, no, no, just try and keep your head up a little bit more. And this is our first loop. So I haven't actually got my dressage sheet. And it's because I don't really want to read it because I felt like the judging was quite harsh. And that's not a criticism of them. It's just something I don't want to really reflect on because it wasn't how I felt the test rode or looked. So yeah it's someone else's opinion i don't care anyway so we were doing a change of rain from p to s i want to say i can't remember but uh yeah it was s that's okay um so she went across there lovely again she's just below the you know she's not got a polyp so she's not really going into the contact not really powering through i had to use my leg quite a lot with her um and then yeah i was a bit too hasty at M and should have rode to my marker um, but I thought she did a really sweet looking little test I mean there she just kind of went a little bit like she keeps crossing her jaw and I don't know whether to put the flash back on her for this reason again there she's not really making a very nice shape counter transition I thought counter transition was quite good her canter again is very peddly at the front um I was really trying to ride the best I could because it was quite a weird circle and to be honest, I I just, I'm very bad at dressage tests, okay? Uh, and then I thought she did a nice little speed transition back to trot there. She probably did kind of cross the jaw again a bit and then you had to canter again in the corner here. And you know what? I thought for Seren that was all right. Like, that's quite a big ask for a pony that is struggling with her canter and she did really well. Uh, I should have trotted there, but I thought that you could trot after the center line, but apparently not. Anyway, she just gets, a l I'm just riding her a little bit too fast there. Should have slowed everything down and just got her nice and round. So we came back to walk. She did a nice walk transition, but again, she's not creating a very nice picture, I guess, but it felt okay. And I felt like she did a nice little walk on a free range. She could have been a little bit longer, but she's striding out, she's walking through, she's stretching down. Um, I've got a crap mark for that, but anyway, fine. And then at E, you have to go across the, the center, like across the diagonal, and there I should have really have got my um, trot transition at over, over the center line, but I didn't. I was too busy trying to get my reins back. Um, and again, so you just have to mirror the same way. So 
we're going to come off this and then we're going to canter in this corner here which i thought was a very nice canter transition so this is her i can't think is this a better rain <laughs> i can't think anymore um so yeah again the canter is, is better on this rain actually and she's not as peddly she's a bit more through uh, behind and she is getting a little bit of air with her front legs uh, she ran on a little bit there and then just dropped a trot a little bit too early but I thought it was pretty sweet and then again we have to canter in this corner and I thought that was a lovely transition for Seren um, but the judges didn't like it so anyway uh, and then you had to canter across the diagonal again and if you remember our first event back we had to do that and she dropped to trot and she managed to keep it so you know i was pretty pleased with her um and yeah she just i don't know she's she you know she's struggling with the the flat work at the moment and it's something we know we need to work on and it just so happened that i needed to change her foot balance again coming to this championships but i thought she did a really sweet little test she did a lovely little transition here and a lovely halt um but the judges didn't like it and i got my worst dressage score ever so i got 40 so yeah that put us well down the placings already so in between dressage and show jumping i went and walked the cross country course and this is what we had um, it was a really nice flowing course, uh, it definitely wasn't as many questions as horse events which was quite nice to be honest. 7B coming out of the water was quite big, 8 was quite big, um, well for me, <laughs> uh, and the rest were just quite plain fences so for a championship a 70 was really nice, this was nice. The corner was quite upright it was quite big probably one of the biggest on the course but actually it jumped very nicely um that was fine yeah you can just see it's quite a nice friendly inviting course which is lovely and the one that we were all worried about was the last one the book um i can't tell you how many stops people were getting it was ridiculous so this was han telling me to get a move on because i literally have five minutes to tack up and run so yeah that's me trotting off to show jumping she's just warming up the battery's low on the camera so i'll try and not film too much like this horse's bum so I was trying my new theory where it was literally just sit and ride the canter, don't fuss her, just let her canter into the fence and if she needs me last minute give her a nice little squeeze, so just keep my leg there, don't move, then little squeeze there, boom, lovely. She warmed up beautifully, she was keen as mustard and I was feeling really confident, I hadn't walked the course, I'd watched someone else do it, it was fine, we were just going to blag it. So, um... Thanks to Han and Martha for filming this. So I will let you watch the round and then we'll voice over it.
Okay then, so you have seen the round and you will see we went clear, which is absolutely buzzing with. So on the approach, a terrible approach by me, just wanged her into it and hoped for the best. And she got very, very close to both of those fences. And I was just like, right, I'm going to have to give her a bit of a leg. Right, She's in a the bit room. nervous by the feel of it. Um, so yeah just oh, rode a bit more positively the these okay. jumps were tiny like the number one and two must have been at least 65 centimeters so it was really again welcoming nice course for a championship like highly recommend it um so yeah she just got quite close and didn't quite have enough oomph behind her she was quite like although she was keen she was quite looking at Han and then she slips around the here so I was like oh god she's gonna stop but no she just actually powered forward because I think I rode a bit more positively and she jumped that blooming lovely like I just felt like she had so much spring in her feet it was just lovely to feel and these Fences felt tiny. Yeah, like uh, but this one, I was yeah, like, really? Um and an was she was going to stop, but I just kept my leg there. Didn't overwhelm her with it. Um, yeah, but she was quite hard work. And yeah, she jumped that lovely. She just popped around them. Yeah, just so easy. Um, and yeah, she was just really happy. Like, look at her little face when she's coming into the fences. She's just got her ears pricked. And she's like, yep, I can do this, mum. Uh, coming around this one, I thought, right, we'll just tuck inside here, and she slipped again. Um, my studs had fallen out by this point. Um, and she jumped it, lovely, just popped over it, really sweet, and loving the encouragement from Han and Martha. Han just saying, good girl, 20,000 times, thanks for that. Um, but yeah, oh, I was chuffed with her, she just did a really sweet jump round just needed more leg and that's when i decided to use spurs for the cross country because i was like i don't want to nag her i just want to have that oomph when i need it so that's what we did So I have got my event for life video of my full cross country round, which I absolutely love having these. So she set off and she was so keen coming out the start box, bless her. But I was like, no, 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 not too fast, is he? Um, and look at her little face. Like I heard Martha say, look at her little face. And she just loves it. Um, she just, like you set off and you just get her into a nice rhythm and she just pops along. Um, didn't look at that and then I just pushed on up this hill a little bit didn't want to overface it with it because coming down the hill and then up the hill it was really quite boggy this is the only boggy part of the cross country course though so I think that's pretty damn good considering how much rain they had it was amazing I'm just taking a while to get up here so I'm just blagging now <laughs> um, this one, number three, was the first kind of one where it's a bit more like there's blue on top. Is she going to look at that? But 
she didn't. She just was like, yep, I know what I'm doing. Look at her little face. I just love her. Her little ears pricked. Um, such a good girl. Probably this number four was the question because the house was, I don't know why, I'm just a bit weird with houses and stuff like this because I've fallen over the top of them many times. Um, and yeah, first little combination on course. And she was just like, yeah, whatever, mum, let's do this. She wasn't bothered at all. Um, number five, I was a little bit apprehensive about because as, so this one coming up in a bit, it's a spread, you know, I don't like spreads. And as I was walking the course, one of the, someone had fallen off really quite badly at this fence. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, I think they were okay, but I was walking and I was like, oh, that, that bodes very well for my round then. Um, but no, she had a little look at it, but I mean, it's a prick. She's looking over it and I just, you know, used, moved my spurs just last minute. I just had the roller spurs and was just like, go on, off you go. And she jumped it. I loved wearing the spurs because it just meant I could leave her alone. But when I wanted action, it was there and it gave her confidence. It gave me confidence. So 100% the right thing to do. Water again, she's always going to trot through it. I'd rather her trot through it safer. Um, and then I could just trot and pop this kind of boat question because as you were coming up the hill it was quite upright and kind of in your face a little bit but she was just like yep okay I can do that mum uh this was a question as well because as you know she kind of stopped at the brush fences uh but I was like no 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 you're going over this whatever and she did come in a bit sideways had a little look at it that, but I was like, no, are you over? You go, and um, she jumped the brush part as well. Bless her, there's a really good photo of her jumping that. Um, I was so chuffed for her. I was just like, right, once we get this rhythm, says we're away. Um, and yeah, this was tiny, she just popped over this lovely, just sat quiet and just let her do it. And um, she looked so slow going round. I just wasn't really watching the clock to be honest, I was just enjoying it. Like I was just going around the cross country and just having a lovely time, which is what it's all about at the end of the day. So yeah, really, really good there. And coming up to this one, is when it's kind of a little bit unbalanced there. Eh? She's just falling over that fence. I just think I need to step her up now to 80 uh, just to see. And this one I was really worried about, but oh my God, she fired around that corner and jumped that combination so nice. I was loving chuff with her. Um, around here we come through the forest bit and she just was like yes mom I'm away that's when I looked at my clock and I was like oh my god we need to get home and I think I had like maybe 30 seconds left so I was like hammering down this part as much as I could and um, see so yeah, I was coming to this one and I was like this is the smallest fence on the course surely and I was like she just it just she just falls over it because it's just like a canter stride to her and she doesn't put any effort into it so that's kind of a bit more dangerous than actually putting the fences up so uh i think this was my kind of message to be like right come on we need to step up next year but again it's all been about the confidence and uh, the whole road is so it's just rocky isn't it again this little combination here is just easy she's just like falling over it again and then coming towards the final one I was like Hannah had warned me about it and I said ride it so I came into it she's backing off miles away and then she brought back into trot and I was like do not fuss her until the last minute and then fussed her and I uh, gave her a little tap over the fence and she flew it well she didn't fly it she literally just stepped over it after making such a deal out of it but honestly so many people were stopping out the fence but I was so chuffed with her so chuffed for that, I just cried as soon as I got over the finish line. <laughs> to think you weren't going to come. Oh, good girl! They've only gone and bloody done it! Double clear! Only 2.8 times, so that's technically within the time in my book. Time. That's oh, amazing. Care about is completing and she completed and she was that was the best cross country round she has ever done. The spurs are a game changer just because I don't think my legs have that much effect on her. <laughs> just She's just happier as oh, well. So Honestly, I can't wait to set. Yeah. Oh, the the way she was just attacking them like. 
She's never jumped on my lap before. Obviously, I haven't Even seen your cross country, but show jumping was the same. She just looks really happy. Oh, this one's a twister. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear. But very, oh, very such windy. I'm good. Yeah. You are so clever. Oh, I love yeah. her. I thought you cried. I cried as soon as I just couldn't help it. I just started blubbing as soon as I crossed. I'm not surprised. You've had to go through a lot of poop. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You can have your mash now. Oh, such a good girl. Oh, it's Let's so dark. Right there. Uh, a little bit. Saren's head's in the way. Oh, oh. Is that the nicest? Is that the nicest? You okay? How did you get on? Uh, we one at the first, so oh. Oh. How did you get on? Oh, well oh my god, so, so we're all done. Just got a drink and Martha's she's had fed a, me, so I'm happy I've now. fed her so she's happy. Um, I am absolutely chuffed with Sezzy. Sorry, I don't know where I'm going. I was pretty chuffed, but the dressage is just a bit frustrating, but it's fine. I know what I need to work on, and we know anyway. We, like I said to you, didn't I? I was like, she's so downhill, and there's nothing yeah, I can do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. It's just going to be strengthening, but to go do a clear for me. Very proud. <laughs> a part of it someday i will feel all right timing felt so right and we gave it all and gave him a fight can you feel the beat of the energy i loved it all from start can you see it clear all the happy years i kept